Today I'd like to demonstrate our iCap system for you. iCap is designed to be easy to use. It's got large buttons so it can be used with or without a touchscreen, and it's real e easy to navigate. The instructions are very simple. Up here at the top of the screen you'll notice it's number one, two, and three. Number one is connect to the live video. You simply hit the connect button and you'll see the icon connects and our live video is, is shown in the preview window. Number two, enter an identity. We'll just type in our case number and we're ready to go. Number three, take a snapshot. It's as easy as one, two, three. If you want to record video, all we have to do is hit the start video button or start recording button. Here you'll see it's flashing on the screen that video is being recorded. And while the video is being recorded, you can still take snapshots. When we're done recording our video, we simply come down and hit the stop video recording button. Now here you'll see a little icon was created, and this is our video icon. We double click it, it launches our playback, and we can see the video we just recorded. When we're done, we simply exit the interface and we're back in. Now we can come back in here, we can take some more stills, record some more video clips. Now you can see how easy it is to take pictures and video with iCap. So here I'm going to just pause our live video. And let me show you what else you can do. We can easily print these images out by just clicking on the print icon over here. We can send them to media, record them to DVD or flash memory. So we'll come up here and we'll select the case. And I'll put it on my removable drive and I'll just hit copy. And there you go. It's copies right over to my removable drive. When I'm done, I can just hit finished. Or if I like, I can archive. I can grab a bunch of cases. Select the Archive button, and that will send them off to my archive location. The archive can be a local location, maybe another folder or file on the computer, or it could be a network location, maybe a server or a backup drive. Now that my videos and my stills have been copied over to my flash drive, I have a copy complete message, and I just hit Finish to exit. It's that easy. I can also do reports with iCap. I can come down, select the template, Hit Start Report. Now it's letting me know that no images have been selected, so let's go back and select some images. So now we'll come over here and we'll send these out to the report. So we have some options here. I can have my images at the top or the bottom. I like mine at the bottom. And I've got five images, so let's say I'm going to use three across on the page. And then I'll just type in a name for my report. I'll just call it Report, and then we'll just hit Save File. Alright, so now iCap has opened our report template. Now, any document you stick in the template folder is a report template for iCap. So, you have the power to create as detailed or as simple reports as you like, and you have full control over the look and feel of your templates. All we're doing is sticking the images where we specified three across on the bottom of the page. So now you simply just fill in your template and you have your finished report. All right, now we're back in iCap. I'd like to show you a couple more things. Here if we click on a still, you'll see it's highlighted. Double clicking on the still will bring up the annotation window. Annotation is real easy also. Up here we have a set of tools, the text tool. You click on it, click anywhere on the screen, and then we can type right on our image. And I can grab my line tool and simply take a line, drag it out. I can just resize, make a circle. I can right click on it, change the color. I can right click, change the font. To italic, change it to a different typeface. You get the picture. It's real easy to use. 
When I'm done with my annotation, I can simply just click on the exit. It'll ask me if I want to save it. I'll say yes, and I'll give it a new file name so I do not overwrite one of my existing ones. So you can make this text to save. Now you can see my annotated file here. Here's one I did earlier. And down here at the bottom is my original file. So my original file is unchanged. Here I've got two annotations of that file. One we just did, one I did earlier, and here's my original. All right? So annotations are also really easy to do. Now from within the ICAP interface, we have the Select Identity box. By hitting this button, it brings up this box that has all the listed identities which are on the system. If I click on any of these identities, it loads the images for that identity. So here we can see those images. We can print them. We can annotate them. We can create reports. We can come back, watch the videos that were recorded. So ICAP is going to file everything by the identity or case number. It's going to make it easy for you to find when you need them later on. Perhaps you do five, six cases in a day, want to go back at the end of the day and do your reports, maybe do your annotations. And then when you're finished with these cases, you can just come into the Send to Media, take the ones you want, and hit Archive. And it takes those, moves them to the archive location. So now when I come in here, they're archived and they're off and forgotten until needed later. To get them, we simply click View Archive, hit Select Identity, and here's all our archive folders. And from here, we can do the same thing. We can load them, we can view them, we can annotate them. Well, this concludes our demonstration. We hope you find iCAP to be as easy to use as we tried to make it.